this is how you get creative with it. When I say getting creative and making your shit different, this is how you do it. You put GoPros in the water. <laughs> <laughs> These are the facts that you should know as a new wedding videographer. Okay, guys, let's get it. So fact number one that you need to know is it's a business, not a hobby. So that's what you need to know. Okay, so you need to treat it as such. a lot of people want to treat this uh, business like a hobby, like, oh, I just film weddings when I want to, you know, have fun or whatever. I mean, some of you guys might be filming weddings just to have fun, you know, might be filming weddings just as a hobby. But for the majority of people, they film weddings to make a living, you know. So for those people that film weddings to make a living, if uh, you're new in this industry and you want to film weddings to make a living, you need to know that this is a business. It's not a hobby. So if you treat it like a business, it's going to, you know, you're going to see revenue like a business. And if you treat it like a hobby, you treat it like just some side job or whatever, then, you know, you're going to, it's going to, you know, you're going to get the revenues of just some side job, you know. So you need to be serious about this business. You need to look at it like, okay, it's a business. It's not a hobby. So also like don't do favors for people. I mean, you could probably do it if you are starting out and you need to like, you know, build your portfolio and stuff. But as soon as like you get going, stop doing favors, maybe family or whatever. It depends on you. But, um, you know, a lot of people want to come for favors. Oh, you know, can I can I get a discount on this? Can I this and that? You know, like though it's funny how people go to certain establishments like Walmart and they don't ask for favors. But when they come to somebody they know, like you, they want to, you know, get favors, like support your local businesses, right? So treat it like a business. Don't treat it like a hobby. So that's one thing you need to know as a new wedding filmmaker. Treat it like a business, not like a hobby. Fact number two that you need to know is that you are now a boss. You are no longer an employee. You need to act like a boss, not like an employee. Because, you know, employees clock in and clock out. Employees clock in and clock out. Employees put in 40 hours a week. You know how many hours uh, a boss puts in a week? Every hour of the day, every hour, the boss is putting in work. Well, what I mean is, you know, a boss, well, let's just say an owner doesn't clock out of a business you know i've mentioned this once and um yeah i'm just gonna mention it again you know if you're an owner there's no such thing as clocking out of your business so uh you need to know that you are now a boss you are no longer an employee so there's no such thing as clocking out of your business and um you need to you know know that that you're not going to be clocking out clients going to be calling you at freaking you know six in the morning or maybe they're going to call you around schedule something at 9 p.m so you are now a boss you are no longer an employee employees put in 40 hours bosses put in every hour of the week so you need to know that fact number three is you need money to make money right i mean you know that's a known thing like you know you need money to make money but um Another thing is like, it's an investment, you know what I mean? What you need to understand is, you know, all the equipment you're getting, all these things that you're going to be using, all these things, you know, they're investments that you're making. So hopefully you can get that money back after a few weddings, right? So that's what it is. So you need money to make money, okay, guys, because equipment ain't cheap, so as a you know as a new wedding filmmaker that's one thing you need to be prepared to do is buy new equipment every maybe three four years because equipment update and camera bodies update and uh you know technology like we had glide cams and now we got gimbals you know we got we had jibs and you know what i mean so 
um, you know, it takes money. All these drones and stuff like that, all that is money that you're putting in. But, you know, you make it back as you do more weddings, right? So it takes money to make money. So as a new wedding filmmaker, you need to be prepared to invest in some equipment that's going to help you for your weddings. So number four is... You are now a wild animal, not a domesticated animal. So that's a point that I can't, that I like using a lot. Um, is you you eat what you kill now. As an entrepreneur, what, once you become an entrepreneur, you know you start eating what you kill, only what you kill. But as a animal that's in the zoo, you are given food, right? So as an employee. You are given hours and uh, you work and you get money. You just you don't do a lot of work, right? It's not too much work for you. You don't get the clients. You don't do this. You don't do that. You most people just go there and they clock in and blah 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 and they clock out. Like they're getting they're getting taken care of, right? Like a dog in the house. Like you know we have a dog here and he's a domesticated animal. You know he he relies on us humans to survive. But if we put him out there in the wild. He might not live that long, right? Because he didn't grow up there. So, as an employee, when uh, as I'm sorry, as an entrepreneur, once you become an entrepreneur, you become a wild animal. You become you go in the bush now to hunt, right? So you only eat when you kill. So you need to to know that going into this business that you are now becoming a wild animal and you are only going to eat when you kill. So you have to book the clients. You have to arrange everything. You have to get the equipment. You have to do all these things. So you only make money when you get bookings. So it's kind of tougher than you just working for somebody and they doing all the work. And all you got to do is be at the bar and make drinks and blah, blah, whatever job you do. But once you become an uh, entrepreneur, you have to front everything up front or whatever. You know, you have to get all the knowledge that you need. You have to do all these things. So um, it takes money to make money, guys. Okay, guys? So that's what y'all need to know. Um, so number five is the last one is create your own style. Be unique. Don't compare or judge yourself based off of someone's work because you will never be them. The best person you can be is you. Okay, guys? So... Create your own style. As a new wedding filmmaker, you need to um, be somebody who they're gonna who's gonna have their own style and your own uh, uh, way of how you film and just like create your own style. Kind of like how Casey Neistat, whatever, did his own thing, and everybody's like, oh, "I want to be like Casey," instead of like creating their own thing. So somebody else can be like, "Oh, I want to be like Leroy," or "I want to be like you know Susan." So, like, you know, guys, like, create your own style. Don't compare yourself to other people. Don't try and be like Mike, you know, <laughs> anyways. Don't try and be like other people, guys. You know what I mean? Just try and be yourself. Try and, cre try and come into your own. The more you film, the more you find uh, your passion, the more you find your creativeness. So, you know, always be yourself. Strive to be the best you. You know, don't try and be somebody else because honestly, no one can be you like you can be you. You know what I mean? You can do you better than anybody else can do you. So why not just do you? Why, you know, instead of you, you can't do somebody else better than they can do them. You know what I mean? So do you because that's the only, that's, that's, you, that's the best thing you could do and be is you. So don't judge yourself. Uh, don't compare yourself especially in this industry. We are in a creative industry, guys. Um, and as a creative, people book you for your vision, for your talent, for your eye, you know, for what you do. Picasso is Picasso. You know what I mean? So you can't be a Picasso, but you can be a Fernando, right? Like you can be a Lee. Maybe you're a Lee Hong, right? And you, you, your paintings are dope or whatever else you do. Oh, I want to get that Lee Hong. You know, let me let me get that Lee Hong painting right there. That's a million dollars. That Lee Hong right there. So create your own name and stop trying to always. I mean, you don't have to like create your own name, but be your own person. 
you know, stop trying to be like other people and trying to copy them because they're them and they're always going to be better at being them because that's them. They're just being them. So be you. And if that's the only thing, uh, that's the only thing that can separate you from everybody else. So those are the five facts that you need to know as a wedding filmmaker, as a new wedding filmmaker. So with that, guys, welcome to the club and uh, welcome to the wedding uh, business. Welcome to the filmmaking business. And I uh, hope you guys are going to enjoy your stay because you guys are welcome. Okay, guys? So, yeah.